Yo, it's Adam here. I'm back in the pizza van and I'm going to make you an absolute classic this time. It's pizza marinara. I'm going to show you how to make it. It's actually a really simple but a really technical pizza. And uh, yeah, I'm going to break it down. So let's do it. Okay, so currently, ovens are running at like 430, just chilling on a low flame. Got my dough over here. Let's check it out. It's looking beautiful. Check out my last video about dough management and you can see all about this dough. It's exactly the same as what I made last time. So let's put you over here. And talk you through what I'm gonna do. So here we go. We're gonna move this out of the way, gonna get some flour out. A lot of you guys always and girls and whoever um, always ask me what flour I use. This is a semolina rim and charter. It's like a very very fine semolina powder and this is what I open my dough with. Okay so here we go we're gonna put some down here get a decent amount there gonna go for a dough ball gonna go one in this time just going to put it all around the edges of the dough ball. I'm going to cut down the lines just like so. A little bit extra under here. I'm going to cut, 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 and we're going to get straight underneath it and lift it up. Don't worry if it's got a little tail. What I'm going to do now, put my lid on my dough balls. I'm going to bring you over here. Okay, hopefully you can see this. I'm going to flip it upside down in the, dough, in the uh, flour. I'm going to bring it together. Tell you what, let's bring you up a little bit you down show you what's going on down here okay so got a dough ball what we're gonna do flip it back around the other way get it back into a circle I'm gonna use my fingers I'm gonna push the air out to the crust start forming our pizza flip it around work my way up back down wipe away the excess flour we're gonna slap it out there we go we've got our pizza around just pop off any excess bubbles right now there's a little tail on the dough there get rid of that just make it look all nice and neat okay and with a pizza marinara what you're gonna to want to do is you've got to use a little extra sauce so this is my pizza sauce it's just a palati tomato with salt put through a hand mill and you're gonna need like more than one spoon. So there's one, and I'm gonna go with like one and a half. And you're gonna need this because this pizza doesn't have any cheese on it. it, doesn't have any extra toppings, very light toppings, and it will dry out. And also, if it doesn't have enough sauce in it, what will happen is you'll get this balloon in the oven. It'll puff up and it won't cook right. You'll go in, you'll probably really rip it. Need some oregano on this one. Some nice oregano or oregano, from depending on where you're from. Nice pinch of that. And I use fresh garlic, so I get a garlic clove. Let me see if I can open this. Look at that, I'm weak. Crush it down. So I get a whole garlic clove. What I like to do is I like to get my scraper, just crush it, take off the shitty papery outside of the garlic, whatever that is, and I like to cut through it. So, and I go through it the other way and I chop it and mash it up. And then you get a nice sprinkling of the garlic all over like that. Hands, and then this is important, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Really good double lug of this. Needs a good amount of oil all the way around. Right, I'm gonna let you see this. So that is my pizza marinara. Now, basil is optional at this point. I don't like to bake basil on it. I don't think it really works because it needs to be under the cheese and it always burns. So I put it on at the end as an optional extra. So what we're going to do, I will just put you down here, tilt you down slightly. I'm going to get my peel. I'm going to turn my oven up a little bit to almost up, just under full flame. Got my nice clean peel here. I'm going to get underneath it and we're just going to pull it out to the crust. I'm going to get underneath the base. And if you're wondering, this is a 260 to 265 gram dough ball. And this is a 30 centimeter peel and I flop it over the edge to make a 12 inch pizza. Okay, that is ready for the oven. I'm gonna pick you up and we're gonna go in. Let's go towards the back, slam it down, straight out. One swift, confident movement. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get you up here, looking into this oven. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, you're going to be able to see that nicely. So you're going to see the crust rise on this edge. 
I'm just going to get my peel ready. So I'm just going to get in there. It's starting to it's starting to blister and it's starting to like uh, brown on that side. I'm just going to check the underside and I'm going to get ready to give it its first turn. It's going to get a full 180 on the first turn, turning it in the inside the oven using the peel and I'm putting it back in exactly the same spot. Let me bring you down a little bit and show you inside what's going on. Checking the other side, it's getting a really nice bake. I'm going to give it another quarter of a turn. Another quarter turn, just a little bit. Always checking that underside, making sure I'm getting a nice colour on it. Not too much, not too little. I'm going to just do this last edge. Obviously, you've got no cheese on there, but you can see the oil and everything's bubbling away. And the tomato. And I'm just finishing it off, getting the colour on it that I like. I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to spin it, spin it. Okay, and that's done. And there you go. That is my peddling pizza, marinara pizza. Let's see if I can wait, look at that. Beautiful, let's stick it in a box. And let's check it out. And that is what I'm looking for. You see, it's nice, got a nice amount of sauce all the way around. Got a couple of little singy spots there. But the underside, look at that, perfectly baked. Right, let's put a little bit of fresh basil on there. Let's flip, bring you around over here. So you get a nice view of this. Boom, there we go. All right, let's get some fresh basil leaves. Here we go, look, we'll make it look fancy. You can always put a little uh, basil sprig in the middle. Look at that, doesn't it look lovely? There we go, pizza marinara in dome, the original vegan, vegan classic, one of the two original proper Neapolitan pizzas cooked in dome. Right. So, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, follow for more. There's going to be more pizzas, more pizzas, more information, and loads of stuff coming. Cool. Peace.